<laughs> Hi guys, so today's video is a quick comparison between the Shotscope X5 premium golf watch and the older V3. Whether you are looking at buying your first GPS watch or whether you've already got the V3 looking to upgrade, hopefully we can help you in this video to make a decision. Jay's got both the Shotscope V3 and the X5 on his wrist. Now we're going to take a look at the main differences between the two. Yeah, that's right. We're also going to take them out on course at the same time. I think we'll probably wear the V3, I'll wear the X5. See if there's any differences at all with its performance and hopefully help you with your choice. Let's get into it. So straight away, let's point out the obvious, the shape. The V3 is square and the X5 is circular. Good observation there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the V3 has four buttons where the X5 now only has two and the top bezel is actually movable which helps scroll down through the menu. Yeah, I'd say the new X5 on the right is definitely more premium looking. It's something that you'd wear more on and off the course whereas the old V3, you wouldn't wear that off the course would you? No, it's so just right. on the course. Moving on to the straps, this is where they've made another big change. The old V3 just had this little tag which clips in, where now the X5 has a double link which makes it a lot more secure. And there's a little notch underneath as well that helps to grip it. Now the old V3, this notch can come out sometimes. It's not the end of the world, but it's just something to be aware of. They've obviously taken into account from the previous V3 what everyone's issues were and made the X5 better. So that's the design, what do we think? It's a definitely a big tick for the X5 for me. Definitely, the, the V3 still a smart looking watch, but yeah, I wouldn't want to wear it out. So that's one point to the X5. So that's the differences visually. We're now going to get them out on course. Flint's going to rock the V3. I'm going to wear the X5. Let's see the differences. Now, this is the old first generation V3 tag, and this is the new version two. So, considerably bigger. This is more domed. So we'll pop them in a the club, see what they look like. So you can see the difference between the two. Now, on some clubs, it does actually stick out to quite a lot, and that's why the new ones are domed, isn't it? Yeah, they do fit better. They say that you don't need to put in the new tags if you don't want to, but I mean, why more accurate. You? Yeah, why wouldn't you? These are, are more powerful and they're going to pick up your club a lot easier. So hole three, the difference between mine and Jay's is two yards. Both very accurate within like a yard or two of each other. That's, that's impressive. So no difference there. You've got your front, middle and back, haven't you, on both watches? Yep. Identical. One of the new features on the X5, which the V3 doesn't have, is green view and the pin relocation. Yeah, so the new watch is touchscreen, whereas the old one isn't, and you couldn't move the pin whatsoever. No. And you can't actually go back and change your round on the older watch, whereas on the new watch you can. You can do the last shot on the new watch, which you couldn't do on the, the old one, so it can That's tell right. you the distance. That's right, it can tell you the distances of how far you've just hit that shot. Perfect for driving. That's what oh, you want, isn't Brilliant, it? isn't it? You've hit it 110 yards. Or in my sense, three lucky. yards into the bush. Yeah, with a driver. Yeah. <laughs> It's also got a step counter so you can count your steps. And then tell your missus that you haven't done nothing today, you've actually done your 5,000 steps. <laughs> so the V3 doesn't have that, but the X5 does. It also has the interchangeable watch faces, similar to an Apple watch. Yeah, or a Samsung watch. And this means that you can wear it off the course as yeah, well as on the course. looks smart. looks really smart. The big differences with the score inside of this is the V3, you used to have to play the round and edit it after. Yep. Now for me and you, we ain't got time to be doing that each time. No. And the X5 is now on course. On the go, you can on the do fly. That. So the V3 doesn't show the entire hole as well on the screen, whereas in a later update this year... The X5 will have the capability of that. Yeah, so it gives you a good overview of the hole before you even tee off. Which Especially is really normal. helpful if you haven't played the course before yeah. and you just want a good visual Definitely. before you whack the ball. The new Shotsco X5 also comes with a higher resolution full colour screen. Uh, the older V3 still gave a very good 
clear picture not as crystal clear not as crystal clear as the new x5 but still very good you can see this this is what we we're saying about the strap with the v3 now and again that might ping off it's not the end of the world but with the new x5 you don't get that whatsoever do you not with the double straps right so that was a quick comparison between the shotscope v3 and the new x5 what do you think personally dip in go for the x5 i would as well to be fair i mean the v3 has still got everything you want at about 120 pounds so if your price points a bit lower a bit of a budget you can't go wrong can you no the v3 is still a fantastic watch and obviously there's a big difference in price the x5 is 280 pounds but with the amount of extra features you get it's definitely worth it you're getting your money's worth you can tell the premium difference with that ceramic bezel, the touch screen, the full color display. Shotscope they've, have listened to listened. the golfers from the yeah. problems that we had with the V3. Yeah. They've done it. They sort, the it. they sort the strap out, which used to be my biggest gripe. And yeah, on on course editing. That's what you want. It's a brilliant bit, yeah. 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 If you want to check out a full review of the X5, we'll put a link in the description and above here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, please hit that button, help the channel grow, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.